Hi everyone, welcome back to the Space Koala channel. My name is Lutza and happy winter solstice. It is a very sunny but very windy day. Um, it is December 21st, the shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere and the longest day in the Southern Hemisphere. Throughout history and in prehistoric civilizations, this day held a very special spot in many civilizations because it marks the end of the period in which it is getting colder, days are getting shorter, there's barely any daylight, the nights are very long, which is obviously a much bigger deal when you don't have artificial lighting. This is the reason that there are so many holidays, both um, religious and like pagan holidays around this period, because it was just a very important day. It has become somewhat less important nowadays, except for us astronomers, um, because while the rest of humanity might be very happy that the nights are getting shorter after this day, it's probably not the best news for those of us who like darkness. If you've been on the channel for a while, you may remember that six months ago during summer solstice, I placed a pinhole camera on my balcony with the idea of leaving it there for six whole months to ideally track the path of the sun throughout these six months and today is the day that I removed that. If you saw that original video you also saw that I came across many difficulties and therefore the following day I actually ended up placing a second pinhole camera just next to the original one facing almost exactly the same way just in case if I messed up the first one, I didn't want to waste six months and then come out with no picture. So it is time to remove it and let's have a look at the pictures. So the two pinhole cameras, the beer cans, are here. The instructions say to cover the pinhole before attempting to remove them. So I covered both of them with a piece of tape and now it's time to actually remove them from here. I don't know why I thought that I could easily cut these, I can't. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a case of force reopening the cable ties. Okay, so that is broken now. After all this effort, too much wind. And so I have semi-successfully collected the beer cans. Not super successful because one of them I just kind of destroyed. I poked a hole in it with the screwdriver as I was removing that super sticky silicone glue thing that I had used. So if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend just not using anything apart from the cable ties that they give you, even though to me it doesn't seem secure enough. But I guess a little bit of movement is still better than just accidentally cutting a hole into it. So the one that I have broken, I've immediately put that into like a black box. And then the other one, which looks kind of destroyed, but it's not, there are no holes in it. So the idea is that I'm gonna make this room as dark as I can. And they say you can use a can opener to open it up and then scan it immediately. Uh, obviously you cannot scan it more than a couple times because the light of the scanner already is going to expose the paper so I have to do it right the first time around. Okay so it is probably as dark as I can get it here. Uh, most of the light is coming from my computer screen here which I can lower um, and so I will attempt to open this up. I don't know which way you're supposed to. Okay probably like this. This is not working as well as I had hoped. Regardless, if I don't cut myself, that's already a good thing. There's no way I will not cut myself with this. This is also making so much light. So I think I will just cut down like a further ring so that I can avoid cutting myself. Okay, I have the paper. Now this is the part I have to do quickly. Okay. And... Uh, 
Okay, so that's been scanned and then they tell you to put this back into the original box of the solar scan so that in case you can rescan it later if you need to. Now I will get the second one which is already quite messed up but who knows maybe it didn't get damaged enough um, so I kind of stabbed the can on the side with the screwdriver as I was trying to get it open um, so this is not in a good condition but let's see if it still shows something this can opener idea is probably the least convenient way to open this So I just had a look at the scanned images. Um, the good news is that neither one of the beer cans or the, the papers were ruined in this painful process. So the whole solar graph shows up very nicely. Um, these are the original images. This is the first one. And then this is the second one. And then I inverted them. and I adjusted the contrast and, and a little bit of the curves and so these are the final images and I think that they're quite nice but there is an obvious flaw is that the top is missing and clearly I didn't put them at the correct angle. I live at 46 degrees north and um, maybe I should have realized that I should have been pointing the beer can a little bit more up because I think I did my best to point them completely horizontal. As a result, the top most, so like the summer months where the sun was the highest are just off the paper. So I will definitely be redoing this. I will be keeping that in mind and also all the other lessons learned such as, you know, being more gentle in general. It is not as sensitive as I thought. I'm in the good way that uh, obviously I had some light enter uh, throughout this process I had some light there as I was taking the piece of paper out of the can and it didn't get ruined so from this aspect it was better than I thought uh, I think it was a fun little experiment I mean it's a little bit of a set and forget thing like you put it out there and you leave it there for the longest amount of time what I find interesting in this picture is that it's not just that the summer months are cut off at the top but they also show up much more faint compared to the winter months and that might be because when the sun is lower then the sunlight is entering more directly onto the paper versus when the sun is higher and then it is trying to reach the bottom of the can and and probably it's just at a different angle and it's uh, exposing the paper less it's also very cool to see when you had like a particularly sunny day but then you had probably like um, clouds passing or something and then you have small gaps between or you have whole periods where there was barely any sun. It is really a very good report of how the weather has been in the past six months. So I will definitely be redoing and doing more of these because it was really fun. And let me know if you guys are thinking of doing something like this as well. I think it's it's a really fun thing to do. These pinhole cameras can be prepared entirely by yourselves, but you can also just buy the ready-made one, like the one that I bought. I will just put a link to the one that I used in, in the description, but you can literally just do the same thing yourself if you're feeling up for it. And that was it for today. Happy winter solstice once again. Let the light come back. And while we're not happy that the nights are getting shorter, we are still in the middle of winter. So for the next three months, we still have quite long nights uh, where we can stargaze. And on the plus side, the sun is at its solar maximum. So there's always something interesting to observe also during the day if you have a solar filter or a solar telescope. So we definitely don't have to be bored. Thank you very much for watching. Happy winter solstice. And until next time, clear skies.